Parallels to Revelation 13. So, uh, Daniel chapter 3. Uh, this golden image is set up. So remember earlier, um, Nebuchadnezzar has a dream about this statue. And uh, Nebuchadnezzar is told that he is the head of gold. Um, this gets to Nebuchadnezzar's um, head, and he begins to make he begins to make this golden image, and I believe it's representing himself. It doesn't say that, but you do have to kind of put the pieces together. It, it went to his head, um, and it's very interesting because it's parallel to Revelation. So King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold. Uh, 60 cubits high and 6 cubits wide. Now, 6 is the number of man. And just really quick, let's look at Revelation. So, in Revelation, it says, you know, um, this calls for wisdom. Let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast, who, uh, for it is the number of a man that is 666. So we have the number of man, and then look, uh, it's a golden image, and it is 60 cubits high and 6 cubits wide. Um, and then we have, you know, in Revelations, Babylon it is resurrected. You know, that great city is resurrected. Um, so I was going to keep, you know, keep going. Um, so, and it set up it up on the plain of uh, Dora in the providence of Babylon. And he summoned the satraps, uh, the perfects, governors, um, advisors, treasurers, judges, um, the, um, the magicians, and all other uh, provident officers to come to the dedication. These people are like the world leaders, the people who are in power to come to go to the dedication of the image. So another thing that I was thinking about is just that image that's set up um, Getty, the Gettysburg, and that's how you say her name, the judge. Um, that statue does not look anything like her. Um, and this statue is being put up in honor of her. And it's just weird how it's gold, you know? Um, do I think that that is, I just think there's types and shadows of, they're setting the stage, they're uh, preparing and normalizing the people so that um, they will follow through with this, this, this worship. It's not just, you know, it's, it causes all, all, great and small, rich and poor, and free and slave to receive a mark on their right hand or on their forehead. So, and it says that it's forced, okay? It says the first, let's just go back to Revelations. It says it was forced, you know? So there is not really an option, because if, if you had an option, um, it says that they killed people, they, they killed um, so what we went, what we just went through, you know, 20, uh, 2020 through basically now, um, I don't think that was because it says that anybody who did not take it, they were killed. Okay. So I think there's types and shadows here, preparing, setting the way, um, but you can see quite clearly that we're here. Okay, so it says that, um, let's see. So it ordered them to set up an image in honor of the beast who was wounded by the sword and yet lived. The second beast was given power to, uh, to give breath to the image of the first beast so that the image could speak. And for some reason, um, it, they they have the technology to do that today, so it, it is possible to make an image talk with AI. So that I do believe is part of the piece 
Um, and I do believe we're in these times because we didn't, never had this kind of technology on the face of the earth until now. But it says, and it caused all who refused to worship the image to be killed. So you don't have a, you don't have a choice. Okay. You don't have a choice. Of, you know, you either worship Christ or you follow with the system. And if you refuse to worship this image that's being set up, you are killed. It also forced all people, so it was forced upon you, great, small, rich, poor, and slave, to receive a mark on the right hand, the right hands. But I circle this because it says or, so it doesn't necessarily have to be both, because it says on your right hands or on their foreheads. So there is a choice to receive either on your hand or on your forehead. Now, if you have that chip that can go into your hand now, and Neuralink, which is something I think these, this techno technology is in place. The stage is being set up. Um, so I, I do believe that these things are coming together so that they could not buy. So they could either not buy or sell unless they had the mark, uh, which it which is the name of the beast or or the number of its name this calls to wisdom let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast uh, which is the number of a man that is the number of 666 so i'm going to show you where this is parallel uh, the beast out of the earth <laughs> We are made from the dust, so it is a number of a man. This Antichrist is going to is is a man um, being led by the spirit of the devil. You know, All right now, back here. So, dedication of the image. You know, we have all the important people um, getting the stage set up so that you know says, then the herald loudly proclaimed, so nations, all the nations and peoples of every language, so parallel to the book of Revelation, this is what you are to, uh, commanded to do as soon as you hear the sound of the horn, the flute, the zir, the lyre, the harp, the pipe, and all kinds of music, you must fall, fall down and worship. Now, they had this system um, is is has been being set up for a long time because um, we live on the Gregorian calendar. Everybody observes New Year's around the whole world, and what happens? Everybody stays up till midnight, right? And they watch the ball drop, and they shout, and this could be like also a sign of worship. So the stage is being set up where all nations could at one time be awake and worship. Um, Daniel also later on goes and says when he has a dream, um, he sees that the times and the seasons are changed. You know, the times and the seasons are changed. That means something happened to the calendar. And also it talks about the law also being changed. Sunday worship and to, to uh, that's been changed God's law, but also um, a Christian nation, the laws are being changed. So we can see that the times are being it's it's being set. The stage is being set. Um, and it says therefore, as soon as they heard the sound of the horn, the flute, the zir, the lyre, the harp, and all kinds of music, all the nations and people of every language fell down and worshiped the image of gold um, that King Nebuchadnezzar set up. And it's interesting, you know, they have all this technology today, and, 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 and for New Year's Day, they have this ball that's dropped, made with all kinds of precious stones, precious metals, silver, and gold. Very interesting. So they have everything in place, all right? So if this was a decree, this was a decree issued, and, it ha and anybody who did not worship the image was cast into the fire. 